Welcome back to Dragon Quest XI, everybody. Uh, sorry about the late uploads as of late. <laughs> this adapting to the new sleep pattern is proving to be a little more difficult than usual, but at least I'm still on it. I was up at 8.30 this morning, so that was good. I did have to go grocery shopping first because I didn't want to do that later in the day when the store is more crowded and all that stuff. So, anyway, so I'm going to start by running over here and trading in this side quest here that we got. Excuse me, kids. One where we had to use the super move. I saw it all, every single moment. Even from this distance, I could sense the glorious intensity of the battle. Yeah, it wasn't half bad. Please, indeed, give me that recipe book entitled Furry Finery. Sounds promising. Fur hoods and fur ponchos. Sweet. Awesome. Speaking of which, we're a little behind on our uh, forging. Maybe we should look into that in this episode. I believe we will do that. So the other side quest we have left here is the guy in the bar who is looking for the golden globule. This guy right over here, the one that wants the golden globule. Now, I know I specified where that was before, but I'll show it again. What I wanted to do, ideally, was to start this episode there with that encounter already oh, booted up. I was beginning to think you had snuck out through the stage door. Huh? Ow. But I couldn't do that because we would have missed this cutscene, so... Hey! You again. What do you want this time? Now what do you want? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> oh, don't be coy, darling. I want to come with you, of course. You should never have told me about your heroic quest if you didn't want me to tag along. What are you talking about? You can't just decide to come with us. This isn't a game. Har har. <sighs> Believe me, honey, I know it isn't. Ooh. I've seen my fair Get share of on us here. my travels. What kind of jester would I be if I hadn't? But I've seen tragedy too. People attacked by monsters, all kinds of awful things. You know, my dream has always been to build a wonderful theater. Somewhere I can put on performances that will make millions smile. But how can I do that if this dark one of yours is going to be out there making people's lives awful? What I'm trying to say, darlings, is that we all want the same thing. So you see, I have to come with you. Oh, don't all squeal at once now. <laughs> no, I'm not. But hey, we'll be glad to have you. <sighs> so Londo's kind of an interesting character. He has a lot of different weird abilities. Um, he has a really good healing ability that he learns somewhere around the mid-game. And this I'll definitely... Really doesn't take no for an answer, huh? Guess I'm part it's of about the that must. Yay! So, tell me, <laughs> what's our next move? Well, well I'll tell you what our next move is. We're going to need the rainbow. And it seems that a traveling merchant has taken it to Gondolia. Gondolia? But honey, that's a port town. He's probably hopped on a boat and set sail by now. Well, that's then we should true. do the same. Well, then we'll have to buy tickets for the ferry. The ferry? Please, darling. We don't have time to be riding the ferry with the little people. Well, what's what your did you just say? Idea, then? I was thinking a sheep of our own might be more chic, no? And luckily for you, I happen to have picked up a lovely little number in the end of season sales. What? You've got your own boat? That's amazing! You're going up in my estimation by the minute! You'd really be willing to let us use your ship, Mr. Sylvander? But of course, sweetie! That's what friends are for! And guess where the old girl is dog, hmm? No? Why, Gondolia, of course! Lucky! So what are we waiting for? The ocean beckons, shipmate! Westward ho! Well, I'm glad at least one of us decided to take advantage of the Black Friday special. What do they call the Monday that comes after it, though? 
It's not online Monday, right? I don't know why I can't think of what that's called. It's not Black Monday. Oh, this is where you get the horse hailer. Okay, cool. Yeah, it sure is. Well, it's nice of them to give that to you, but then, pawn, and then like, spawn you right next to one of these. So, you know. No motivation whatsoever to actually use the thing. Anyway. So, we're gonna come right over here to where that spot is that I was telling you about. Right here. The Animex are gonna dismount here for a minute. And we're going to... Wait a minute. I guess I have to run into them. Well, go figure. Are you kidding? On the first encounter, are you serious? The first freaking encounter? That's just way too lucky. Way too lucky, man. Yeah, pep up and everything, huh? Well, let's do it. Here we go. Scorched up. Two clowns singing with one voice, baby. So, that ability is kind of like Rubble Rouser, but it's on steroids. It'll do quite a bit more damage, you'll see in a second here. Something about using fire attacks in a desert feels unintuitive to me. So that's why I'm always kind of hesitant to do that, but... But if it's all you have, or if it's the best thing you have, or if it's what works the best, then maybe you should do that. I don't know. See, the gold one's a little tough. Yeah, it's got some HP on him. Um, we don't want him to run away. I don't think he actually will. Rubble Rouser Cock will do it. Just attack. Man, I was so worried about this encounter not showing up. I thought I was going to be sitting here recording for an extra 10 minutes. Just trying to get him to show up, and wouldn't you know it, first encounter. Got the gold ore. What luck? In Capri Sun finds a golden globule. Yes, I know. I totally know. I didn't forget. Why do you think me forget? Of course not, you silly. Let's go ahead and turn it in. And then we'll pretty much be done with the side quests in Galapagos for now. Alrighty, so sorry in advance if this video is a little bit shorter than the others. Good day to you, does this present thing you have the thing? Yes. Still wearing the sunglasses, I see. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm all about. Improved in the lives of rare... Or whatever you just said. You're more trickster, is that... That's an accessory, isn't it? Ooh, maybe we should look at that real quick. Um... Sounds like something you would wear. <laughs> Clairvoyant's card imbued with the power to evade enemy attacks. That's... Takes down our maximum MP a little bit, or HP rather, but... If you look at details, what they don't tell you is 1% evasion. Actually, I'm not even sure that's worth it. Be better to put that on somebody if it was going to be taking the place of something else. Slime earrings uh, increase the defense a little bit too. And the charm. Is there anybody who's not wearing anything on there? You have nothing here. So might as well put this on you. And Silvano has nothing, so let's give him the slime earrings. He also has nothing on his shield either. Oh, well, maybe I can make a shield for him. Like I said before, we are behind on the forging. And since we can now basically do that anywhere, let's just do it right here. Well, first let's heal all. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, hang on a second. Why can't I find the forge in the menu here? I feel like this is an incredible brain fart on my part. I mean, it's not that hard to get over to a campsite and just do it there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a well here. 
almost missed it. Let's see what we got down here. Maybe you can only do it outside of towns or something. Sprig of Gnar suspicious. That's not suspicious. Okay. So we can check the right tunnel here. Or East Tunnel, whatever you want to call it. There you got barrels. I love these wells, I'm telling you, I would sleep in any one of these. Any one of these. Sleep right here by this water. Maybe even in the water. As long as I knew there was a guarantee I wasn't going to drown in it. Uh oh. There's a locked door down here. Jeez, how am I ever going to remember that that's there? You see, this is different from the other locked doors we've been seeing. All the other ones have that weird red pattern on them. Now it's just randomly there. Somebody's actually reminding me of that door once I see a key. Unless there's a key somewhere in the town, which I'm guessing there's probably not. I mean, the red door is what's going to happen there is you're going to get a magic key that just opens all of them. So, we know. I'm looking forward to that. That's not going to come for a while, though. That's one thing I mentioned in DQB. Dragon Quest Builders, that is. It was that very thing. I don't know, I'm so used to doing the foraging by a campfire that I kind of don't even care that much. That I, some, for some reason, couldn't find it. <laughs> Maybe it's because I was in the town, I don't know. Either way, is that another one of our friends over there? Got another password for me? I took my ticket time and I found a password for you. I'm gonna go ahead and say it now, so make sure you're paying attention. It's... And they don't actually tell you what it is. Fortunately, the Luminary has a good, very good memory, so he'll remember it for us. All you have to remember is that you have one to begin with, so... You know. There's a place to make you campfire here. Damn right there is. Okay, so... Forging items level up. Always a pleasure. Wow, maximum focus increases by three, so I haven't been doing, I haven't done this in a while. Man, we can make a lot of stuff here. Okay, so here's, here's where this comes in now. This is a pretty good piece of armor, but as you can see, we don't, we don't have the materials required for it. However, I can still make it, because I can just buy all the missing materials for 800 gold and make it for a hood. So I don't have to go around looking for stuff to make. I can just I can just buy it, you know, no big deal. And I can see how some might argue that that's overpowered, and I guess maybe it is. But damn, if I'm not gonna take advantage of it, like if they want me to have it, I'll use it. Um, let's see. Probably just have to batch regular for on these. Yeah, this one's taking its sweet time getting up there. Yeah, you can see now as the temperature goes down, your hits become less effective, so... Oh wow, I'm down to 11 focus here. Gotta be careful. Try this one up here. Okay, that's pretty good. They're all in the green, so... Yeah, try it. Yep, success, good enough, plus one. So we could try remaking that if we wanted to, but uh, I'm not going to do that right now. Let's go ahead and get the check marks by him. I mean, I guess if uh, what, I, what I could do if I wanted to was just run around this area and pick up all the shiny spots, because I haven't really done that yet in this area. And so probably if I did that first, I'd get a few of the things that I need here. But for now, I'm content to just spend the money on them. So I can just do all that grinding off screen or whatever. 
course, at that point, there would there even be a point to the grinding anymore? I don't know. This one's a little trickier. We're gonna need to go across to the bottom here. We might not be high enough level to do this yet. Because you only have so much, you know, that you can... That you can work with here. Maybe... Ooh. Okay. I think I'll do a lightning bash for this last hit here. Ah, it's perfect. Nice. We have just enough focus to do that, though. Of course, we also just picked that recipe up, so... It kind of makes sense. The fact that we got a plus two out of it is pretty miraculous, actually. Yeah, so some of the stuff down here will be easier because we picked it up longer ago. And also, we actually have the materials we need for it, so... Yeah, sure. I don't know what any of this stuff does. We'll check it out as soon as we've done made it, or as soon as we're done making it. Mm, yeah, do it again. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's. Okay, let's try a lightning bash here, and one more right there. That's pretty good. That might be plus three, I'm not sure. Let's find out in a second here. Nope. It only, it only, um, if it says perfection, that means you got a plus three. Otherwise, just say success or whatever. Okay. Let's see, fizzle resistant blouse. So we can make it out. Obviously, we had the stuff we needed for it, so that's good. Normally, you will. Uh, double edge, do it here. Yeah, see how much more damage you do on these lower ones. So much easier. So yeah, obviously, you take care of the ones. Oop. Take care of the ones that need more damage first. You know, so you get that temperature down, so you're not doing as much. And then you're less likely to go over. Because once you go over, you can't go back, you know. Sometimes it'll heal randomly on its own. And the damage will go back down. And that's really weird when that does happen. But it does happen, so... I can't decide whether I want a lightning dash. And I think right now. Yes. I might even go so far as to try a lightning dash on the lower left. Yeah, let's do it. This looks good. Accessories for this Plus two, not bad. Tricky turban and a rose hued head wrap, which makes for magnificent wizard wear. You're a wizard, Harry! Except we're lacking Narspicious for this one. Let's use the one we picked up for something else. Either way, we got the money, let's put it in. Alright, flourishes, double edged. I don't know if I'm always going to show this every time I do this, it's just... <laughs> I think this is so fun, I mean, I can see why someone would think it isn't, but... So notice there how I got a crit on the lower right, so I had to do just bash here to catch the top right up with it. Oh boy. That's pretty good. It's a little over though. Probably a plus one there. I mean, a plus anything is good, even a plus one. Because it's better than what the projected, you know, stats will say for that thing when you're looking. Like, when it shows you the projected stats down here at the bottom. Of course, then again, that's probably why it says plus 29 or more next to defense down there. Anyway. Let's do this one. 
So many ingredients, man. Donald Duck would be very happy. Ooh, that was a good one. I'm always scared I'm gonna get a crit like on a hit like this or something. I don't think that can actually happen, but then again, <laughs> you never be too sure. Nice. Looks good. We still haven't even seen most of what you, what you can do with this yet. So if it still seems a little simple, that's because it is. It'll get even more complicated, or... It will get more complicated. So that leaves us with just the lamp post then. Oh wow, <laughs> look at this thing. Uh, it looks like a ladle or something. Nice, crit on top, crit on bottom. Ooh, do we want to do that one more time? I don't know. I'm worried about the bottom actually, it might be too much. We have enough to do all lightning strikes from here, why don't we just... Ooh. Hmm. I'm actually gonna stop there, I think. Yeah. Lightning strike would be too much. I don't, maybe not, I don't know, but... Yeah, that works. I mean, I'm happy with that, shoot. Now, I could throw a few of these in here and try to get plus threes out of them. If I wanted to, I could plenty of perfectionist pearls for it. But I'm not going to. I will double check my menus just to make sure. Yep. Well, now comes the really fun part where we get to reap the rewards of our hard work. It's a bronze sword. I don't think I made anything that was better than that. It's, we still have the claymore here if you wanted to play around with the two-handed sword. Alright, Fur Hood is good for Luminary, definitely. Not so good for his other stats, though, so I don't know. The thing, though, is that you're not using him for Magical Mending. You don't really need him for Charm that much. Magical Might, I mean, he's not exactly, like, you're not using him for Magic, either. If you look at the details, you know. Plus Ice Damage down by 10, you really don't want to lose the Luminary in a fight. So yeah, I think that's actually worth it to put that on him. Bronze armor, what else do we have? What's new here? We got this from whatever. Defensive dress. Oh no, that was for getting first in like the the bronze cup. Yeah, yeah. It's better than this. Yeah, let's put it on, man. We can also check the deets over here if we need to. Oh, he's the only one who could equip that anyway, so perfect. Yeah, ice damage down by 10. Wait, fire damage down by 10 too. Not bad. Yeah, that'd be good for him, sure. Put it on. Robert Gloves, we already kind of established what that's for. Help his steal ability. Even if it doesn't help that much, whatever. Veronica, staff. Replace that with the wizard's staff. Puts her. Actually raises her attack a little bit. Raises her magical might. That's her damage output from spells. That also raises her magical mending, which is weird, but. Yeah, I suppose you could just as well give that to Serena, right? Except it's a two handed thing, so she'd have to lose the shield. So maybe not necessarily worth it, but. Yeah, I'll give it to her. Let's see what else we got for you to put on your head. Tricky Turban, there's more Magical Might there. And more defense. Uh, let's see, Fizzle Resistant Blouse, that would help with, um... Chance of being prevented from casting spells, reduced by 30%. That's pretty good. Really good defense, too. And more Magical Might. I mean, the more you can get, the better. If I had accessories for Magical Might, that would be... Oh! Guess what? I do! Put them on! Oh man, Veronica is just gonna be basically... 
She's killing everything in the house now. So she has a hairband. We could pass this down to her. No reason not to. It helps out her magical mending a little bit. Or healing, rather. Most of the time, I'm probably just going to say healing. I'm not going to go and say magical mending. That takes too long to say. Uh, I could pass the chainmail over to him. We'll just do that then. Since I picked up all those gold ores from um, from horse racing, I could probably just make another gold ring. For Solando, and maybe one for some of the others too, I don't know. I mean, I got ten gold ores, like why not? <laughs> what else are you going to do with all that gold? Well, maybe best not to get rid of all of it. But also be careful here, because we're pretty high level, which means to do big damage hits here maybe I mean not perfect but pretty much as good as you could hope for or not give us perfection anyway well, that's fine sorry dude back in the town I gave your son a gold ring plus one you could have had a gold ring plus three but I wasn't good enough yet I'll check out my outfit changed too huh didn't even notice that. I don't pay attention to outfits as much as perhaps I should. There you go. You got yourself a shield looking mighty. You know what? I'll give you the gold ring while we're at it since I... Uh... Oh yeah, that's that's tremendous right there. Because <laughs> originally the gold ring projects plus 5 to defense. When you get a plus 3, it gives you plus 10, so... That's a mighty fine improvement, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I agree. The more the merrier. Yes! <laughs> I wonder what history is. History, his story. Michael Jackson already made that pun back in 1995. Don't even bother. Gondolia. Yeah, it's easy to get these two these two towns oh, confused, wonderful. Gondolia and Galapagos. Because like they both start with G. They both have long names. They're both basically puns. It's like Galapagos is like gallop, like the horses gallop and they have the horse races there. And then Gondolia is obviously Well, you'll see when you get there. Oops! Well, she get some fights in this video, so you can see how much this improvement, or how much this uh, equipment helps us improve. So let's give you the sins here. Oh, look at that! Look how much better that is! Holy crap! Yeah, they don't stand a chance against us now. Um, I just don't use spells myself. No reason not to. This is what I was talking about before, where the AI would know how much HP that thing has. And if it only had like 5 or 6 HP, the AI would actually attack it. And kill it. Otherwise, sometimes you kind of feel it out, you know? That an enemy seems close enough to being dead. That you can just finish it off with one hit. Really good experience out here, though. I feel better than ever. Hell, I haven't even spent my um, skill points yet. You know what? Why don't we do that while we're here? So we haven't spent enough time in the progression charts, have we? So I want to get Zap, honestly. Yeah, let's get Zap. After I just adjusted my character's armor, and did not account for spell damage. But there are other reasons to go down the chart this way because you have like deafness plus 10 here and the strength plus 10 node there. Here, let's go ahead and get that because we're going to want it. At some point we will. I don't know when but it has to be coming up pretty soon. MP absorption, let's go ahead and get this because we need to to get to the good stuff over here. Bezel freeze? Or is that... Whatever it is, it's probably good. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice! Restores 1 to 2 MP after winning a battle. I like that, actually. Let's get that. 
It doesn't seem like much, but I gotta tell you, it adds up. I mean, five or six battles, and you're talking about a fourth of your MP, you know? Ooh, I gave her spears, so you could learn cattle prod, but, oh, uh, well. I don't know if she gets into that kind of stuff. She's a weird one. Zavando, <laughs> what are we doing with you? We gotta figure this out now, don't we? Litheness, I think, is like, well, both this and this. Showmanship are both basically, like, his general stats or whatever. So he already has Sobering Slap, which helped us in that last fight. If you remember, he took the confusion off of Eric. Could increase the charm. We could do that. Plus fancy footwork to increase the user's ability to evade. That's interesting. Attack ladder plus five. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go the whips route. Yep. Besides, we can go ahead and get the attack up right here straight away, so. And we get Lashings of Love, which is <laughs> an attack that can deal heavy damage to humanoid foes. Hell yeah, dude. Sylvando's not exactly a misanthrope by any means. He's, I mean, I'd say arguably he's the complete opposite of that, which makes it more all the more ironic that he would have such a move, but... You know what? Who am I to question it? Also, I love his picture, too. Let's go ahead and get another one here. Two of you. Just two of you, huh? Well, I'll just be... I'll just be matching A, then. Thank you very much. Yeah, I could have recorded this last night, so I wouldn't have to be in such a hurry this morning, but my throat was trash last night. Still carrying over a little bit today, but... Eh. It's not as bad as it was last night, man. I don't know what happened last night. But the good news is I didn't fall asleep on the stream. Well, not that I did the other time, but I was close. Like, I literally had to stop the stream because I was walking into walls. I saw that happen to Gerard once, and it was more terrifying than I expected it to be. Just watching it happen. It's like being on a plane with an unconscious pilot or something. Something about the feeling of that. It's not good. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Gondolia is just up this way. As is a side quest. How's it going, Helmet Head? Greetings, traveler. My name is Hakeem. Oh, Hakeem, okay. Is ready, Gondolia? Yes, I am. You have a sister. So, you have a twin sister. Your feelings are now betrayed high, too. Alright, he wants me to deliver her a letter. Simple enough. Sometimes I like side quests like that. Just simple stuff that people ask you to do in the world, you know. That kid works in a bakery in the northwestern part of Gondolia. Huh. So we'll be able to visit the armory and the bakery all in one trip. Sounds awesome. Uh, what you got? Are you a shop? Oh, and it rains all the time. Well, that's my kind of place. I might go through and make a second pass and just pick all these up just so I have one more of everything here. Although I don't know how terribly I'll really need it. What's that one on the very top? It's a yellow eye, yeah. You find yourself later on in the game always needing those eyes for stuff. So I definitely probably want to get that. In the meantime, though, beyond this checkpoint lies the Laguna de Gondolia. Only those with express permission from His Excellency, the most exalted Sultan, may pass. I sure do. His Excellency hopes that you will die honorably. 3PO, you tell that slimy piece of worm ridden filth that he'll get no such pleasure from us. Right? Yeah, stop being such a lapdog, C3PO. Wow. This does not look like I expected it to. 
Well, this is weird because it starts out like a beach, but it leads its way into kind of a forest area. Yeah. So, uh, hmm. God, the only it's like right there, so. No problem. Yeah, this area is really cool. I like this area a lot. So I can't wait to see more of it. Um, sparkly spots for your viewing pleasure. See, it kind of looks like a swampy area. That's because it is. But there will also be enemies that you can ride, like bees or something, to get over the swampy area to so get stuff that looks like it might not be necessarily obtainable. But yeah. Alright, I guess that's going to be all for today. Sorry we didn't make more progress, but well, we, we kind of did. I guess we got into a new area at least. And we finished off all the side quests in the previous area, so that's good too. Alright then, see you later. Bye!